Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. So, of course, more allegations have been coming out about Manson, and now this other influencer named Destry, Destry, now there's people coming out about him. So, of course, because of quarantine, I've been home making t-shirts. I don't sell these, I wear these. Because Walmart, they sell this paper. It's called, it's by Styled Basics. It's iron-on transfer paper. So all you have to do is get a picture, print it out onto this paper, and then iron it onto a shirt. <laughs> so you know, like I love dogs, obviously. So yeah, I've been sitting here printing out pictures, putting them on my shirts, and wearing them. <laughs> that's, that's me. I'm like stuck in 1994. I'm stuck in 1986. I don't know. But that's what I do. Then I iron on the letters and stuff if I put letters on it. But what do you guys think about all these allegations coming out? It's it's like 2020 all over again. But I'm happy that people are coming out and telling their story because that's the only way we can stop these influencers from abusing their power, from hurting more people. You have to... You just have to understand that there are bad people in this world. And unfortunately, there are people that we thought were good, like these influencers and celebrities. They're not the best of people, you know? Look, I'm brokenhearted over Manson right now. I, and and again, I know everybody's not agreeing with my view on that right now. And I understand that completely. I was a stand to it one time. And I... It sucks. But I cannot support Manson with, with the allegations going on, but I believe the survivors. I just, I believe them. I believe every word they're saying. And, uh, one of the last women, the, uh, Ellie that was talking about him putting a GoPro up her skirt, that is such, that's so gross and disgusting. Oh, and he could get so many women. Why is he doing pervy things like that? You know, creepy creeper creeperson type things like that i mean where's officer dingleberry you know when we need him where is he at to come stop these people like manson and dobby vanity and like oh anywho so yeah that's i've been at home watching the news and listening to youtube videos i like the horror stories especially um, like the Let's Read channels where they tell scary stories. I'm a big fan of Scare Theater. Um, Let's Read. What's the other one? Animate the, the animation channels with the horror stories. I love those. I like scary stories. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've been through most of them, like myself. <laughs> so someone was asking me about my past. And I told you guys... I'm not going to lie to you about my past. There's no point. And I don't understand why these celebrities and these influencers lie about their past. I don't understand that. Why are you going to lie about it? People are going to find out anyways. You might as well just tell the truth. If you start putting YouTube videos or Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're doing, TikTok, if you start doing this and you blow up, you better just tell the truth. Just put it all out there and tell the truth. Because when it comes back on these people, it is coming back on them. Like, they're getting karma out of yin-yang. And me, I'm over here putting my labs on t-shirts. And <laughs> so, yeah, you print that out on the transfer paper. You can use computer, your smartphone, whichever one you want to do. Let me tell you something cool, though. I know this is kind of like, this is going to be one of them videos where I'm off about all kinds of topics on, I mean, where I'm talking about all kinds of topics, I guess you could say. What I like about this transfer paper is the fact that I can go to Walmart, a dollar store or whatever, and I can buy a calendar. And these calendars have pictures. I love dogs. I love dogs and cats. <laughs> I love turtles. But you can print out these pictures what you do is you cut out, you cut it to fit, or whatever size you want. When you cut it out, you put it in your printer, you scan it or copy it onto the printer paper, the iron-on transfer paper. Once you get it out, you cut it, 
cut it to fit. But look at these that I'm going to be doing next. That's so cute. I don't sell these. Again, these are somebody else's images. I just wear them because they're so cute. Look at that little puppy. This is what I'm doing in my quarantine, y'all. <laughs> like, okay. I love dogs. I can't help it. Look at that face. It's so cute. <sighs> That's my next one. That's me. Like, <laughs> can you see that on my shirt? That's my next one. I'm going to do. Okay. So, anyways. Back to what's going on. So did y'all hear about the David Letterman, Lindsay Lohan situation? Well, this morning I was listening to um, Tinsel on YouTube. They have a lot of uploaded videos of trading spouses. I cannot believe how these TV shows like Trading Spouses, The Bachelor, um, 90 Day Fiance, they they're making their own people famous, first off. But it's like it's like they put out an application that says, hey, if you're racist, if you're homophobic, come for an audition. Why? Don't make those people famous. I just don't get it. But trading spouses is one of the worst. You know, I shared a video this morning where this woman, Julie, was one of the moms on trading spouses who, you know, traded lives. And she goes to a Mexican restaurant and then complains when they don't speak English. But the waiter does speak English. But she's that racist. Then she offends. She goes to the new ho household and she offends that lady by telling her, well, if you're gay, you're not normal. It's like a like you're special, like you have a mental disability. I'm thinking to myself, these they put this woman on TV. They gave her more than 15 minutes of fame. They actually... They put her in someone else's home and allowed her to disrespect these people. How disgusting is that? It's on my, go to my channel, find it, Trading Spouses, Racist Edition. It is horrible. And go check out the channel called Tinsel, T-I-N-S-E-L, because it is unreal. But, um, yeah, so I've been doing this since I was younger. We used to do it with saran wrap and, um, parchment paper, but this is way, it looks way better it doesn't make you feel like you have a big piece of plastic stuck on your shirt. It actually feels like shirts you buy at the store. So we're going to do this one. Now it says on the pack to put parchment paper. You're supposed to iron it out a little bit first though. Hold on. Let me do that. It says to put the parchment paper on top of this. But when I put the parchment paper, let me find a piece of that. Where is it? If I put this on top of this and then iron it it burns my paper up it done that twice yesterday i was trying something new and it burnt my paper shit and i was like well that's weird i'll just go back to doing it how i used to do it which was like this so let me get a closer shot hold on i told you guys oh, my videos are always not organized because i am not an experienced youtuber so we put this down Right in the middle, or wherever you want it. Put it wherever you want it. And then I just iron it like so. Make sure you get the edges, like, really good. And you need your iron to be very hot. It says take it up for a few seconds. Put it back down. You want to make sure it's sticking really good. Now, you can start to tell when it's finished because these edges will peel up a little bit. Sometimes it's kind of hard to peel, but... Just have to be careful and don't rip your, your print. But like I said, if I put the parchment paper on top of this, for whatever reason, it burns the shit out of the back of my print. Okay, so this one is almost done. It's starting to peel backwards. Okay, let's check. Let's peel it up. Yeah, I'm using an old dresser. <laughs> it's a hard surface. As you can see, though, see, it's not stuck on the inside. Hold on, I'll show you. Let me peel this off right quick. Let me check it and make sure it's ready to be peeled. I may have to iron it a little more. Okay, there it goes. Let me get my good nail. You know we all got that one good nail that'll just like grab up on anything? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I got that one good nail that just, 
Now, I'm going to get it close enough where you can see here. See how it's peeling? You want to peel it very gently. Very, very gently. You don't want to rip your print. And if you have to iron it a little more, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Let's see, this one I may have to... Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's on there. Sometimes I have to go back and re-iron a little bit because it doesn't stick as good, but this paper's pretty good. Let me move my camera back up now so I can talk to you. <clears throat> but yeah, we have like all these... Um, all these celebrities who have been doing very bad things and they've gotten away with it for years. What's crazy is besides their stands, you know, who are obviously going to take up for them because they love them or they love the music they created that they grew up with. You know, look, I was the same way back in the day. Um, like say with, with Marilyn Manson, you know, I, I thought Marilyn Manson was everything and then some. Marilyn Manson you know, his music, it got me through the best and the worst of times. Check this out. Here it goes. Now I have a Labrador on my shirt. <laughs> okay, so there's the final finish. See how fast that was? Was that not super fast? Look how cute. Yes, I know I'm obsessed with dogs. You don't have to tell me. And I love labs. I love all dogs, but I get a lot of really good pictures of labs from these calendars. I got some Cocker Spaniel pictures <laughs> and some Chow Chow pictures I got to do. My best friend sent me some pictures of her cat. It's like a Persian, Siamese Persian mix. It's so cute. I got to print hers off tomorrow. But it's, yeah, it's that, that easy. Literally that easy. And like I said, you don't even have to use a phone or a printer. If you want, you can legit go buy a calendar or oops you can buy a calendar or you can get if you just have some random picture laying around like like say that for example you just have a random picture go to your printer copy it print it out on that on this transfer paper cut it out lay it down on your shirt iron it bam done that easy that's what i've been doing with my quarantine time <laughs> we got another one over here so, I don't know. I guess it's just been, it feels like 2020 all over again for me. It's, but I'm so happy that people are coming forward with their stories. I mean, it doesn't make me happy because they went through these things, but it makes me happy to know that they had the strength and courage and they're brave and they had the strength to come through and to come forward and say what they want to say. They're, you know, like they're not being... Um, they're not having to fear anymore because that was my problem when I was assaulted. I was so afraid to say anything because I knew this person was liked by everyone. And I knew that mostly everybody would call me a liar and be like, no, she's lying. She's lying. But then once we started talking and me and one or two other people started talking at the job because it was um, somebody I worked with. Once we all got to talking a little bit and I realized other women had been through this too, I'm like, okay, this person has to be stopped. We have to report this. We go to report it. They don't believe us. They're like, we don't believe you. Uh, what do you do? Okay. Well, later on, a new girl starts. He starts texting her. Go out with me. Go out with me. We told her. We're like, we're warning you. Well, she ended up getting some texts from him. And some threats and stuff. And that's what ended up getting him caught. Um, it's such a hard um, situation. On, because I know you can't just believe people sometimes. Um, some people lie about this stuff. And it makes it hard for real, real victims to get their story out. But with celebrities, they have access, they have access to a bigger fan base of all ages and it makes them more dangerous um, a celebrity you hear about celebrities flying fans out to their homes to their vacation homes to the set to music video sets or movie sets or whatever and you hear about some celebrities flying fans out like to their actual home or to a hotel 
I'm like, I didn't, I mean, I know celebrities, they want to date people like anybody else wants to date. I get that. But some of these celebrities are flying out underage minors. Some of them are going on, you know, the internet, on their YouTube, their Twitch, or whatever it is, and they're talking to underage minors in their fan base and sending nudes and all this stuff. And some of these people still have channels up, like Dobby Vanity, Mini Lad, several. You know, we talk about them all the time. It's scary that these people still have a platform. They still have fans. These platforms don't ban them or delete them. Just blows my mind. I don't know. Anyways, check this out. I'm working on some projects. I made this one recently. I've made probably about 15 of these already. I've been making them for a long time. But they, people started out doing them for Christmas time because they were candy canes. And then I just started making them year round. Like with puppy prints, um, with pine cones, spring colors, summer colors, fall colors. Whenever you want. You can have these any time of year. Um, you can buy the bow if you can't make a bow. I like making the bows. Um, it took me a long time. <laughs> I still have trouble making a bow. Oh my gosh. But that's what I've been doing in my quarantine is peeling around, making videos, making crafts, and trying to be the best person I can be. Trying to be positive. You know, that's all we, that's all I really can do. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'm just going to try to do some more videos today. I want you guys to be able to get to know me better, and I want to talk about my past more. It's just hard. It's really hard sometimes, but thanks for watching.